Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll show you how to uh, upload photo to Facebook page and we will be using Unslash, which is a place where we can get the image to use freely and the image that we are going to upload to Facebook page uh, are all related to uh, quotes and now let's get started. Alright, so in last video, we looked into how to get random quotes, uh, status, and post to Facebook page. And in this video, as mentioned, I'll show you how to uh, get the free photo uh, from Unslash. So basically, this is um, a place where we can use uh, image freely. And um, so I'll try to change the previous code uh, as seen here. Uh, try to also get all of the photo randomly from uh, Unslash and post to our Facebook page. And I also use a keyword for that as well. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use uh, the word keyword quotes so we can get all the photo that are related to the uh, famous quotes. And now let's get started. All right, so here, um, this is the previous one. I'm going to clean uh, up all of this. So what I need to do right now um, I don't actually need this anymore, the use effects. Also, um, right here, when we come to this page, you can see that uh, this is the publish to post and publish to photo. So here, this is the link that we're going to need. Uh, we will need to have the uh, you, this URL and this is the page ID. And um, also right here, we need to use um, the word uh, photos rather than just a feed, uh, just previously that we used to post status. And um, once we get that, we need to provide the uh, URL, which is the URL that we're going to get from here. And uh, the access token, which uh, if you're not sure how to get that, uh, do watch my previous video. Uh, did show you how to um, generate or try to get the uh, access token both long life and uh, short life. Alright, so how do I get the um, image URL from Unslash? So here, um, this is the source.unslash.com. When you come to this page, you can see that there's a lot of uh, information as well. So uh, what I really need, I need to get the uh, basically search for the uh, keyword uh, code. So here, uh, this is random uh, search term and uh, here they provide us one of this example here. So when I go to this uh, link, you can see that it um, contain it going to contain all of this uh, information, both uh, water and nature. So now let me try to go to this link and see if uh, we get the image that we want. All right, so you can see that it's uh, contained related to nature and also with the uh, water as well and uh, what i do need right now so i need the quote so here you can see that the parameter that require source.unslash.com uh, slash feature and then here's the keyword i just uh, open uh, copy this link into my notepad and then uh, what i need to provide here is just quote so see um, right here so see if we get the quote that uh, we want here. So when I go here, you can see that there's a different type of quote that we can get from this link. So here, this is travel the world and uh, you are what you listen to. There's a lot here, you can see already. So here this is our we room it to grow. And um, yep. So this is the link that we going to replace inside the React application. And now what else do we need to uh, clean up from here? Um, right now, we uh, just need to replace as uh, I show you in here. So uh, this is going to be um, photos. So just do that. Uh, make sure that you also provide the word S as well. Otherwise, you're going to get error. And this uh, access token, just replace this with the access token. And right here, we're going to use the link that I just mentioned, which is here. Uh, copy that and paste it here. So this will sit inside the uh, double quotes. And then um, we don't actually need to use this anymore. Also, 
for this if we get the access um, message it uh, successfully post to Facebook then uh, it show us this one here and the quote here we no longer need that and um, just right here random photo so I'm gonna clean this as well and this is the post a random quotes uh, post photos all right so here we have um, this uh, link that we're going to post uh, the Facebook to and um, this one here this is the uh, URL we get from the uh, Anslas to generate the random quote uh, photos and this one we're going to change that from a message to URL so this is um, the URL that we need to provide and this is the access token so let me save that and see uh, if we can actually post that to our Facebook page with the uh, containing the photos so now um, right here when I click on this post photo all right so here we can see that uh, we got the success uh, message and now let me refresh this page and see if we get the uh, photo that we want all right here we go we can see that uh, this is the one that we just posted using the Anslas and uh, here it says uh, what gold soul do I uh, do this day and uh, this one of that and now let me try to uh, post another it may take a few seconds so here we go we got a success uh, message again and now let me refresh all right so here this uh, this is the other one I will write something uh, worth reading or do something worth writing and, and this is from the uh, Benjamin Franklin so that's how we implement uh, our, our random uh, photo uh, related to um, the quotes so uh, we have uh, a lot more here but um, I just want to emphasize that this is not the uh, unslash API what we are doing right now is to basically try to hit um, the link so this is the link and then we get the uh, random uh, photo from that and say uh, the reason you can see that uh, I didn't actually show the image before uh, we post the uh, before I click on this uh, button is that because when we try to render that using the use effects it generate one image but then when I click on this photo it try to uh, get this uh, URL again so the image that you can see on react here when I click on this it's going to be different photos so what are we going to do with that uh, how I'm going to solve it so now let's have a quick look into unslash API all right here we go so this is the unslash API um, we first need to actually register as a developer and now let me try to um, refresh the page to get the link that I want to show you So here we go, this is the link that I'm going to go to. And uh, when I go to this link, you can see that there's an issue saying that the access token is invalid. So uh, how are we going to get it fixed? We first need to register as developer and I already uh, registered that already and uh, let me log into that. And now when you go to this page you can see that uh, this is um, the basically the applications and also uh, it tells us like different uh, status as well so in this case uh, this is I create like the one and uh, the demos uh, you can see it's limited to 50 requests per hour while in uh, develop uh, main modes and in the production we can uh, check actually hit like 5000 uh, requests and um, this is the enterprise uh, so let me quickly go into this and uh, explain you a little bit uh, what we get inside here so we can see that we have the access token and also the secret key as well so this is the information that we uh, will use um, for our react applications i will delete this uh, after this video as well and um, so now let me try to show you another one which is the unslash api documentation 
All right, before we go into view the documentation, just have a quick look here. Um, it says like 1.9 billion requests per month. You can see how popular that is. And uh, here are all of this uh, information. Now let's go to the documentation here. So when I click on this here, you can see that first we need to require to set up an application, which I just show you a few minutes ago. And then I'm um, here, the uh, search photo by keyword. And uh, before getting into that, let's click on this one. And um, you can see that uh, to get the, uh, actually to get the response from the API, uh, we need to install the library or the uh, an SDK. And in this case, we are going to use uh, React. React is a build from um, JavaScript. So it's JavaScript based. And uh, let me click on that one to see the sample code from how to get the uh, API uh, response from that. So here you can see uh, we need to install this on slash uh, JS, uh, JavaScript. And uh, this is the dependency that we need to import. And this is the fetch. And this is how we are going to use. So creating an instance, uh, we need to uh, provide the app uh, access key, which I sh just show you. All right, so here we can see that when in a slice and instance of the unslash, uh, you need to include the uh, application which uh, contain the secret key and the uh, callbacks uh, URL as defined in this uh, documentation. So here, this is um, the format that we're gonna follow. And uh, all right, so. Yep, that uh, the Unslash API and if you want me to show you how to basically uh, install this into our React app here uh, to basically get the URL of the image and then we can just show it on this uh, front end and if we like the image then we can just click uh, to post that URL to our Facebook page. But um, in this tutorial, I just show you how to uh, randomly get the image without actually get to show it on the front end. And um, if you want me to uh, show how to install that, let me know. I'll try to do that in the uh, upcoming tutorial. And basically right now, we have already um, successfully uh, generate or try to get the random quotes uh, photo from the uh, unslash and we post that to our Facebook page. And in the next video, I'll try to show you something else. Pro might probably looking into how to store the image into the back end. And see you guys in the next video.